All parties in the matter of Kirvin versus Cosby. Step forward. Rita Kirvin is suing her ex-boyfriend, Milton Cosby, for damaging her car and stealing money from her purse. I'm sort of confused, Ms. Kirvin. Mr. Cosby is a friend of yours. You have an on and off relationship with him, and he's married. Yes. And you were out with him one evening at a bar, and that was on November 26th. You went out to celebrate your birthday, and according to you, things didn't go well that evening, and without your permission, Mr. Cosby took your car. That's correct. And he took your car, and according to you, he damaged the bumper of your car. Yes. And also, your pocketbook with some cash in it was in the trunk of the car, and he took the cash out of your pocketbook. Yes. How long have you known Mr. Cosby? All my life. Has Mr. Cosby ever stolen money from you? Years ago, not recently. I mean, within... Well, how many years ago? You're 50. How many years ago? Maybe like 25 years ago or something Well, like what that. do you think would prompt him? Because his defense is that you're a little crazy. <laughs> So I'm trying to find out. So what do you think would prompt him when he took your car without your permission from the bar? What do you think would prompt him to steal money out of your pocketbook? I don't know. My purse was locked in the trunk of my car. When I got to my car to retrieve my car from his house, my purse was no longer in the trunk of my car. My bill folder was not in my purse, and my credit cards had been messed with, too. And my $200 for my insurance card payment money was gone. So how much cash was in the bill fold? I had 160 throw it away in a, a part of my bill folder. I so had that 200. was still there, just a minute. So that it was, was still there. It was still there. The $350 I had in the front of my bill folder, it was still there. I had two $100 bills off in my purse for the car insurance. That was missing out of my purse. Did you take her money? No, ma'am. Okay. Now, let's talk about you took her car. No, I didn't take her car, ma'am. Well, you used her car to drive it to your house. Yes, ma'am. So you took her car. I didn't say you stole it. Oh, I said you took <laughs> yes, her car. Yes, ma'am. Tell me why you took her car. Uh, when we was at the club, ma'am, I, w- I had asked Miss Kirvin to take me back to the room or take me home, and which she had purchased a room prior to us going to the club. I asked her, I said, uh, I know my limit when I drink. I said, so I know I reached my limit. I said, could you please take me back to the car or take me to my truck? And she was like, no, nah, I'm not taking you anywhere. It's my birthday. You came out with me. You're going to party. And okay. if you want to go, just go. Okay. And so... So you went and you took her car. No, she, she had gave me her keys. Did you take her car? Yes, ma'am. I left in her car. Well, Mr. Cosby, what kind of nutty thing did you just tell me? You just told me that you had been out with her, that you had reached your drinking limit, and you weren't going to drink anymore. So then she gave you her car keys, and you drove home. Why would you get into her car if you were drunk? 